So this is going to be a, a we're going to cover a little bit about spec flow, and this also works for cucumber, but spec flow in particular here about the kind of different constructs that make up a spec flow test and how they fit together, right? So we have the notion of a feature file. That feature file has multiple scenarios in it. Each of those scenarios represents a test, or actually it could be a few tests depending on how you specified it. Each of those tests runs made up of a set of steps, given when, then steps. And those steps communicate or pass data between each other through the use of context. So each test operates with a context that can be passed or shared across the steps. And let's look at that a little bit. So this example here is a spec flow feature that has three scenarios in it. We could use any of the main test platforms, X unit and unit MS test. Basically the feature file is a dot feature file. It contains the Gherkin syntax scenarios. Each of those scenarios, that feature file is then generates a code behind file that is actually a unit test file using whatever unit test running you want. So BD tests operate as unit tests from the point of view of the executing them or running them in a CI CD pipeline, that type of thing. And each of the scenarios is an individual test. So if I have a feature for a bank account, um, that would be a test. It'll generate a single bank account uh, code behind file. And if I had a withdrawal, a deposit, and open account scenarios, each of those would be a unit test. And then each of those unit tests expects there to be a global function available for each given when then statement. So what we do is we specify the scenarios and we generate any of the step files for given when then, right? So actually let's go down and look at this, right? If we come down here, we can see this is a scenario given when then and. What that means is we'll have four steps, four step functions that will be out there that match that syntax. And the way this works is when you run the test, you run all the tests in the feature because it's a single code behind file. Each of the scenarios becomes a test. As the tests are ready to be run, all of the global step files are loaded and the global um, and each of the steps that's available is uh, basically made available to you through import. And then the unit test invokes each given when then that is part of the test. When the test run, a scenario context is created or an arbitrary number of scenario context objects. So they can be a feature context, they can be a scenario context class, which is provided by SpecFlow, or you can create custom POCOs in the case of SpecFlow and use those as context. When the scenario runs, it initiates all the, initializes all the context objects and those step files. Um, and then the, as the tests are run, each individual step is run. And if the step uses, can either get data or put data that is part of the shared context. So you can think of it as not really, it's almost like it creates its own object, but that's really not what it is. It's basically a set of objects that are made available for any of the given when then. And so you can actually, if you look at the, what we did here, right? The unit test on the left has a given, a when, and a then. I'm sorry, on the left, the unit test on the right has its own given when then. And they have a shared context, right? Each one of these will have a context that flows through of some type. But what I wanted to point out is the test in the middle reuses the given. It reuses a when from one of the other tests because it's globally available in the step function. And then it calls when and then a couple thens. And in this case, the middle test reuses a given, a when, a second when, and then a then, and it has a then that is only used by itself. So in the case of the reuse, right, um, what you have to know is what context each of these given when then expects to have available. Is it a person's name? Is it an account number? Is it a pointer to a web proxy so that you can actually run a test? So 
the hard part of this, of course, is that when you run a unit test and that unit test calls these globally available steps, those steps will expect certain context object types to be there. Could A lot of times in the beginning, you just use a scenario context, which is just a big dictionary. Um, and it expects values to be generated by previous steps. So if the given like created a bank account, if you were doing the bank account example and created like a dummy bank account to run the rest of the tests in, then all the wins in the then would have to understand what uh, variable uh, in the scenario context that would come up or what dictionary entry, or you could create a POCO that would represent that bank account. And all the steps would expect there to be a POCO available in the context. So um, I just wanted to show a little bit here. So basically the IDE or CICD runs the test. It runs the unit runner because basically all of this is wrapped around the standard testing frameworks so that there's no magic, special magic here other than the code behind. The runner will identify the test um, and it will run the code behind file as it would any other unit test file that it finds out there because annotations are on it or something else. And then for each test in the code behind, that's for each scenario, it will run the test like any other unit test and it will invoke the step definitions that are sitting in that unit test and those step definitions will actually create and use context and make that available across the steps. And that's how that works. So again, I think the important part here really is just to understand that this is built on a standard unit test framework and you can pick the one you want. Scenarios represent unit tests. Features represent a unit test set of unit tests in a file. And the steps are basically globally available functions that communicate with each other through the use of context. I'm not sure I've explained it very well, but I hope this helps. Have a great day.